Welcome to the homework for lesson 28. This is module 7 of gr third grade and please write your name first because once you get going on this stuff you're not going to remember to do it later probably. Uh, Carl draws a square that has side lengths of 7 centimeters. Estimate to draw Carl's square. Label the side lengths. So side lengths of 7, so 7 centimeters. I just try to draw a square here. There. What is the area of Carl's square? Okay. That's 7 times 7, which equals 49. And it's the same square I just drew above, so I'm not going to redraw it. Carl's square has area of 49 square centimeters. Don't forget the units, please. What is the perimeter of Carl's square? That's 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Uh, so P equals 4 sevens is 28. As perimeter of 28 centimeters, not square centimeters. Carl draws two of these squares to make one long rectangle. What's the perimeter of this rectangle? So now I'm going to have to draw two of those squares together. And I'm going to label this one is 7, 7, 7, and this is 7, 7, Seven. Now, since we're talking about the perimeter, we don't need to worry about this side right here. This is inside. We only count the outside for perimeter. So how many sevens is that? One. Well, how do I usually count them? One. Well, we start at the this corner here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six sevens. Uh, and this is perimeter, so I'm always going to do addition. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So perimeter six sevens is forty two. The perimeter of Carl's rectangle, we should say Carl's new, re new rectangle, because his square is also a rectangle. Um, 42 centimeters. Right, these are all Mr. Briggs puts food for the class party on a rectangular table. The table has a perimeter of 18 feet and a width of 3 feet. Estimate to draw the table and label the side lengths. Okay, so here's the table. I'm not going to try and draw a table that's 18 feet long on a piece of paper because I can't do it. Uh, so we're just trying, it says estimate to draw the table, just try to make it, the perimeter is 18. Okay, so the width is 3. 3 feet, or if you want to abbreviate it, there's a couple of different ways to abbreviate feet. This is one of them, FT. Uh, that's 3 feet. And now, the thing is that the, if the perimeter is 18, 
that means the sides have to add up to 9. So length plus width has to equal 9. So and that means 3, so that means the other side has to be 6. Because that's 9 minus 3 equals 6. Uh, so there's the side lengths. Done. That's what I was had to do. I didn't, it's not a question. So it just says draw and label. I did. What's the length of the table? Okay. The The length is 6 feet. What is the area of the table? That's going to be 6 times 3. Let's make a better looking letter A, I think. A equals 6 times 3, which is 18. The area is, I should write the area of Mr. Briggs' table, but the area of the table is, okay. And it's area square units, very important, square feet. Mr. Briggs puts three of these tables together side by side to make one long table called that banquet formation when I was a when I was a waiter uh, what is the area of the long table so I'm like this is it's a six by three so I need write it this is read draw and write so this is a six by three then I need another six by three and another six by three now i'm not worried about um these threes inside i can have them there but it doesn't matter so what i need to do is find out what is so these that's one that's really um the length and its length times width right is the area so what is this whole thing is one long rectangle you don't really have to redraw this whole thing as one long rectangle, but I'm going to. So it would be 3 by what the 3 sixes add up to, which is 3 sixes is 18. I'm just going to write down 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. So 3 times 18. Now maybe you know what 3 18s are in your head. Good on you if you do. But... What you could do, you can either multiply 3 times 18, which that's the same thing. If you don't know 18's in your head, then you can think that 18 is really 9 times 2. And you can make it 3 times 9 times 2. And you could make it, you can see there's a 3 and a 2 there. That 3 times 2 is 6, so it's the same as 9 times 6. And you probably know that one in your head. Uh, that can and that's going to get you 54. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is think of right here. What's the area of this rectangle right here? Three times six. That's 18. That's 18. That's 18. Or you could just add the three 18s together. 18, 18, 18, and then add them vertically, and you could do it that way. And you have three eights. That's 24. And it's two, three, four, five, 54 which is the same as 9 times 6. So you don't have to have all three of these, all these different methods, or just whichever one you use, but I'm just trying to show that there's more than one way to figure this out. So we have... the long table is 54 square feet